Elderwood National Park. Seriously, when is this chapter going to end? Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I mean it. Barry! Where's Barry? I should just shoot one of those birds sometime, just for fun. See if, like in Resident Evil 4, they spit up grenades. Oop, thermos. I still had to reach Barry at the cap. I still had to get the I thermos. Was out of the woods. Hello? Any campers in here? Oh, this has got to be a boss fight now. Look at all that open space. I don't like this. That's a lot of birds. Oh no! Tire Swing of Doom, part two. Close for renovation. Aha, page. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. Cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. I hope that's what already happened and not what's going to happen. Yeah. A bathroom and a horror game. Only good things could happen in here. Yeah. Mirror's gone. Had to find the key to the garage. What key to a garage, okay? Thanks, Alan. If you say so. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Hmm. Story dies, Alice dies. It's... Whoa! No, 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 no. That's not good at all. Got out of the way. I kind of knew that was going to happen, but at the same time, I didn't think it would. <laughs> oh, I'm being naughty. Alan is a naughty boy. Get some. I think something's missing here, guys. Eh, did say it was under renovation. Uh, why are there? St <laughs> I, I don't know. I shouldn't question these things. Okay, enough bathrooms. Okay. 
Can't get out of there. Where am I going to? Oh. This must be the garage he was talking about. Ah, car! Do I get to ride a car? Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, Grand Theft Alan Wake, baby. Boom, bitch! <laughs> Dead? No. Now he is! <laughs> yes, I've learned that. Thank you. Where am I going, though? Guessing I'm not going toward the barricade, except there's the thermos! How do I get out? Do I get out? Can I get out? Come on. Oh, how do I get out? Seriously, how do I get out? Oh. Okay, good. I was like, there's got to be a way to get out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, nothing past there. <laughs> I've already destroyed my car. <laughs> Whee! I'm coming, Barry. Oop, clunk. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm coming, Barry. I mean, I'm coming, Alice. Ah! Jane, stop this crazy thing. Where am I going? I don't know. Whee! <laughs> oh, this is great. Like Bayou fucking Billy all over again. Whee! I don't even know if I'm going the right way. This could take me a while, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going the right way or if I'm doing this at all correct. Not in the least. I really don't know. I might have to edit this here. <laughs> this is fun, but I don't know if I'm getting anywhere. Wait, this seems right. This seems familiar. I've definitely been here before. Oh yeah, I'm back at the lodge. Okay. This is where Barry is, right? Truly, this seems correct. Except I think I'm supposed to drive that way. How about we do that? I don't know. What I'm doing. Whoa! Hello! Uh, can we back up, please? I'm dying. I did what? Uh, they killed my car. Not good. This, this is really not good. This is very much not good.
I hope I didn't need that car, because I think they killed it. Okay, I... I guess we go on foot from here. Really? Kinda sucks. Yeah, that car looks pretty much done. Oh boy. Okay, so I think I'm in the right place, judging by that noise, and by this supply truck. Ooh, I got the flare gun. flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Says you, Mr. Wake. Hello! Boo! Where are you coming from? Okay, boys. Ha. Mm, this is definitely familiar. I've certainly been here before. <laughs> okay. Yeah, remember this place? Yeah, we definitely were here. Anything new? No. Anyway, so just as well. Barry? Is that it you, Barry? Kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake. You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. So am I writing this or what? I don't know. I don't, I don't get this. I thought I remembered this game, but maybe not. Uh, that's a lot of birds, all right. Look at that. Good lord. Okay. I hope you're here, Barry. Foop. Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Darkness controls the Taken. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna need this. It's certainly giving me plenty of ammo. This way? Okay. Ow! Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. I don't know if I trust you. Are you really Barry? Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Defeat the birds? Why? Okay, I can't see the birds. There they are. Where are the birds? I cannot see them. There they are! Ah! I don't think I defeated them. Am I killing any of them? I'm trying! What the, 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 I can't even see them! I'm 
sorry, I won't say never more again. Where are they coming from? Oh, here we go. I can't see where they're coming from. Okay, there we go. I definitely got a couple of them that time. They just come out of nowhere. See, I think I just waste my ammo when I do that. How can I defeat the birds? They're birds! There's millions of them. Okay. Whatever. Hello, Barry. Hey, Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. You should be sorry. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche. Man, Roger's block sucks, but I didn't know it was that bad. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. The red Barry coats are coming. Speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. You live in a trailer park? No. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Good girl. Next time on Alan Wake. I joke, but I really like the episodic structure. Come here. Pretty please. Can you tell me where I am? You. Won't you say something? End of episode two. I need to get Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. 
We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you. Barry looks trip. like he has to go to the bathroom. Rose, really bad. Nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this. Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an anyway. owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out no to be a to Billy. famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving. So much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. 